Welcome to the video. So this is a new series I'm testing out. The basic idea here is we will be highlighting a up-and-coming successful YouTuber and just talking about this person. Today we are talking about Mo Vlogs. Now, I am fairly plugged into YouTube, but this has to be probably the fastest growing YouTube channel. There's another one which I'll talk about in another video another day, but in the last year, I, there's only been two channels out of the hundreds that I've uh, been monitoring that have gone from zero subscribers to a million within a year. That's just insanity. I remember back in the old days of YouTube, because uh, I used to watch YouTube way back in the day, if you hit 10,000, you were like a celebrity. If you hit 100,000, you were on the front page of YouTube. And it probably took you like at least two years to get there, if not three or four years. Nowadays, I guess just by the virality of things, this guy, he has crossed 1 million in, I would say, about a year, which is just insane. What's even crazier is this guy does daily vlogs, as his name implies. His name's Mo Vlogs. And this man literally gets... Pro he on average he gets about a few hundred thousand views per daily video. Why that blows my mind is the fact that this guy does daily vlogs. Like people don't get that within a week. Some people put their life into a weekly video, and that video gets like ten thousand views or a hundred thousand if they're big. This guy does a daily vlog, and he's just killing it. He gets about 300,000 views to 500,000, and it's just growing and growing and growing. Very similar to many other daily vlogs out there. I would say the top ones, Shaytards, uh, Roman Atwood, and Casey Neistat, and maybe uh, Vitaly's TV. Those people spent a good three years building the audience, and most of them had an even bigger prank channel to funnel that you know initial uh, burst of traffic onto to light the fire. Most of these people have like 10 million plus followers on their main prank channel. So this guy, he didn't have any of that. How did he do it? Well, if you look at his videos, basically it's very simple. I would say they're... It's very simple why. They are very, very rich. And I'm not gonna I'm not one to spread negativity and say, Oh, look at this rich guy. He didn't work for his money. The point is, um he's managed to turn this into a YouTube success. And he does a really good job with it. He understands YouTube pretty well. And basically he started off by posting videos of all the sports cars and supercars in Dubai. So he's a um, child who inherited a lot of money from his parents. Most people are saying it's oil money and that may be true. And he basically started posting a ton of videos where the thumbnail, which is the video that you see before you click on a video to watch it, 99% of the 50 plus videos he first uploaded had really expensive cars in it. And that was the thumbnail, and he really understands what I like to call clickbait YouTube titling. It's fairly simple, honestly. I wouldn't say it, it takes like years of studying to figure this out. Basically, if you just read some of his headlines, they're basically like Lana's new Lamborghini, Lana goes Bugatti shopping, racing in my friend's Bugatti. And of course, it attracts a lot of people who are like, oh, look at this crazy lifestyle this guy's living. A day with the Batmobile. He literally has a video where it's a Batmobile. And then he, in his hands, you see right in front of the mobile, he's holding the car keys. And it has a little keychain that has the Batman symbol. So it's very interesting to see this. And um, I would say what's really interesting to me um, is this whole idea that the world's kind of melding together. And it's really become apparent to me that... The U.S. is kind of like the 
at the precipice, at the forefront of the entire world. Because you have all these different cultures, all these different towns and cities from all over the world, from Dubai, from England, and they all have American themes. Like I see it all the time in uh, YouTubers who live elsewhere. They know about America. They reference American things like Batman and so forth. So I just find that very interesting how the world's kind of globalized. And that's not really the case. I would say uh, you, the U.S. is, is really the, so, uh, the superpower within the Western Hemisphere. But uh, from what I've seen, China is its own superpower. And it holds a lot of uh, mainstream authority in their world. And they're on like a completely different thing. They have their own superstars. They have their own Justin Bieber. And most of them don't. I mean, they know about the U.S., but... They care more about what they're doing. They have their own superstar actors. They have their own Leonardo DiCaprio. It's an interesting world. Now, bringing it back to this guy, I think Mo Vlogs, go ahead and check him out. Let me know if you know about this guy or if you watch his videos. Now, of course, I just find it very enticing. It's from my understanding, I think it's pretty obvious why they watch his videos. He has a above average interesting life. You know, this guy... Almost every day he's doing something interesting because he can. Whether that's, uh, you know, driving a new Lamborghini, buying a pet tiger, driving through a sandstorm, driving a Batmobile, renting a Bugatti, going to a party with like 50 Lamborghinis there from other Dubai kids. He lives an interesting life, and of course, from that, you get to see interesting stuff that you wouldn't otherwise see. And it's, it's kind of like um, travel blogs. A lot of them really function as porn, because most of the people who watch it will never actually do this, so they kind of live life vicariously. I think, personally, you know, it's you don't want to be too sucked into this, because it can really make you feel unhappy. So, just have some caution. Having said that, though... Um, I also uh, just have to give props to these people because I haven't seen all their videos, but there's this one video I saw, and of course they do this naturally. I don't think they intentionally did it, uh, but you know they went on like a tourist destination type thing, like just as a walk in the park for them, and they took time to just marvel at the amazingness of the world, and I think. There's a certain level of uh, gratefulness that I see within happy, fulfilled people. And I think, you know, they're probably not completely there. Maybe a little too materialistic in a lot of ways. Having said that, though, I really admire this whole, that whole scene where they, they literally stopped and they, they had a moment where they're just grateful, not for the cars or anything, but just for simple things like the a beautiful sunset and all those things that they mentioned. And when I saw that, I was like, that's, that's what it means to really live a rich life inside. That is what people who aren't materialistically rich, uh, but are happy and fulfilled on the inside, that's part of their key to true happiness, whether they're rich or not. Now, um, we don't know where this will go. Again, if you've been following the vlogging scene, as I have, there's been a lot of vloggers who have daily vlogged who couldn't take the pressure from mainly two things, the drama and the judgment. And they ended up quitting completely from vlogging or turning it into like a, a five-day-a-week vlog. Right now, you know, these people are still killing it. They're doing crazy stuff. They're literally like racing on the streets, throwing on fire to the uh, tailpipe of their expensive cars, doing crazy stuff like feeding lions. And all I got to say is uh, this is very interesting just to see it through. And it makes me wonder, like... Obviously, I want to grow my YouTube channel, but I don't have the stuff they have. So it's one of those weird things where it's like, I wish there's stuff I can learn from you guys, like how you title your videos and how you make some of your thumbnails, but I just can't model it like you do. 
because I don't got that stuff. But I'll take what you do have and maybe it'll help me improve. So thank you for that. Uh, and we'll see where these guys go. It currently seems like uh, as of right now, they're going strong. They have about 430 videos and they're going really strong. And what I mean by that is there's no signs of them really feeling... Uh, unhappy, depressed, overly judged, or anything like that from their videos. And they still seem very positive and outgoing and happy. So we'll see where things go. We'll see if they keep going or they follow that vlogger curse. And I only say that as in quotes because there are plenty of vloggers who still daily vlog and they don't have a problem with it. Uh, but I think as just as a warning... Do it for the right reasons because if you do it for the money, things will come back and bite you. You you get like psychologically screwed up in multiple ways for, from all the thousands of people judging you or spreading negative comments. So they obviously aren't doing it for the money and that's because they already have a ton of money. So it's just very interesting. We'll see where it goes. And that's all I got to say. Let me know, have you heard of these people before? What are your opinions on them? Any uh, YouTube tips? If, if nothing else, I would recommend you leave a comment with your YouTube tips from just your observations. Anything to help me or anyone else who wants to grow a YouTube channel succeed. Is there anything you notice this guy, Mo Vlogs, or any other people doing that might be helpful to any of us? Let us know. It'll help us grow our YouTube channels. And, of course, the biggest thing, though, is do you have any ideas on how anyone could replicate this without the expensive cars? Uh, and in the next video I'll be releasing um, in this series, I will be talking about the other guy who managed to achieve this same feat that's 0 to 1 million subscribers from scratch, and he did not have expensive stuff. But he did it in a way that's semi hard to replicate or it's just like if you try and replicate it and you fake it, people will sense that you're just like doing it for the wrong reasons. So we'll talk about that in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're a helpful person. It's right below this video and it will let you know when I upload new videos and stay tuned. Thanks for watching.